everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop and classic Christmas tunes on this wonderful eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and yes, we are into Christmas tunes again, and I'm doing one of my favorites here. Actually, I'm redoing one of my favorites. This is Jingle Bell Rock. The last version I did was, well, not totally up to par for me, so I wanted to do it again to give you an idea how to play this entire song, including that cool little guitar solo that, well, I'm basing this lesson off the Hall & Oates version of this song. I think Hall & Oates did the song in the 80s, um, and there's a great little guitar solo in that version of Jingle Bell Rock that I will show you in this video easy to play on the mandolin. But first, a little bit of business, and boy, do I have some business here for you. Please stick with me just for a minute. If you're new here, thanks very much for checking us out, but don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. If you are a returning subscriber, ho, 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 do I have a lot of stuff for you this holiday season. First off, you can get some new merch, rock and pop merch down below. You can get t-shirts and hoodies and coffee mugs, whatever you want down there. And every purchase, of course, helps to support this channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, you can come over to our Patreon page. New over there, I am now posting tabs for many of the songs that I do on this channel. Many of you guys have been asking me to post some mandolin tabs for some of the more popular songs. Well, I'm starting to do that over there. Check out our Patreon page. Come on over and become a member and you can get access to the tabs that I will be adding in the future over on that site. Also, finally, another great Christmas present. How about Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin, my video lesson series, a perfect gift for the beginner or intermediate mandolin player. Maybe it's you. And maybe you want to give yourself a nice holiday gift. Well, the link is down below, along with my Sweetwater and Amazon product links as well. Phew, that's enough business for you. Let's get down to learning this song, Jingle Bell Rock, the Hall & Oates version, here for Mandolin on RPM. All right, Jingle Bell Rock, Hall & Oates version for the Mandolin is a really cool song, some cool chords and some cool little licks there for you, and uh, also the little solo, as I mentioned, off the top. So it starts off like this. Like that, okay? And then you're into a D chord. So the song is in the key of D, and I'm basing a lot of what I'm gonna show you here off this D chord pattern here, or this D chord voicing right there, second fret of your G string, fourth fret here of the D, fifth fret of the A, and of course, possibly the second fret there of the E string, although I'm just mainly concentrating on these three strings here, right? So you've got a D, a D chord there for you. Start off with that, just down, up, down, like, like that, right? And then you're moving just down to here, which is actually a D major seven chord. So these two fingers stay put, and you're just pulling off the pinky, and now you're covering those two frets with your third finger there. So that's two, four, and four now. That is a D major seven chord. Can you hear the difference between the D and the D major seven? All right, a really nice little jazzy chord there. So same thing, you're going. All right, now for the intro to the song, what I'm gonna do is just shorten this bit. I'm gonna not use this note here, okay? I showed you that the chords there earlier uh, for the rest of the song. I should have just shown you this part first, okay? So what I'm doing is just using these two strings. Same, same chords, but just like that, okay? So like that. All right, you could play it like this too if you wanted to. All right, so it's like that. But the way I did it was, okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Then we're gonna do this little lick. Okay, most of it is on the A string, so five. All right, so five, seven, then open to five. And then back to two, open, and then five, four. So really nice little, uh, little lick in the key of D. So again, five, seven, two, sorry, five, seven, open, two, five, two, open, five, four. And you end up on that fourth fret of your, of your D string there, which is an F sharp note. So one more time, one more time from the start. 
Okay, it's up and down strokes there. You're just going up and down with those single note lines, okay? So, okay, and then you kind of linger on there, maybe add a little bit of tremolo there with your finger or vibrato with your finger, and then you're gonna go. And then to the main chord. So what's that? Well, so that's from the open A and very, very quickly down that little pattern. So open A, five, four, two, open, okay? Actually, you don't go to the open because you're actually gonna go to a D chord here. So you go, and then into that D chord I showed you at the beginning. So one more time, the intro, the shortened version. Right, a little pause there. Okay, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're gonna count five beats there after that. Two, three, four, five. And then you're back into there with the D chord. Okay, so the next part is the verse part of the song and it just goes like this with these chords, starting with that D to the D7. All right, so those are the chords there. And it's a pretty neat little uh, pattern, descending pattern. So D chord here, then D major seven, as I showed you before, that's two, four, four. Then you're gonna go. And you could keep that finger locked down there, but I prefer just to do it as a two finger chord like that. So, and you can do it like. So what's that chord? Well, I'm actually not sure what that chord is. I think it's a D6 if you play the full chord like that, but here I'm just, you know, I'm going with the fourth fret of the D string and the second fret of the A. Okay, and if you wanted to pull in that second fret of the G, you could, making it a D6 chord. So you're actually going D, then D7, then D6. All right, so that's kind of a cool little descending pattern, so. And that is, an F minor chord, F sharp minor chord right there. But I'm just, again, I'm just playing these two notes here, which is the F sharp and the A there, okay? So that's fourth fret and open. You could play that whole F sharp minor chord if you wanted to, but I find it's a bit of a stretch. So it works nicely like this. Right, you're just ending up on that F sharp minor chord there, okay? so. Okay, now what I do, and what I did off the introduction of this video is, I didn't do those last two chords. Instead, I put in a little lick that goes along with the melody. I'll show you that too right now. It goes. Okay, so what's that? So you're going off the D to the D major seven, then. So open, two, four, two, open. Four. And with that four, that F sharp minor chord, you can hit the two strings. You can make it a double stop there with the fourth fret and the open A. So one more time. Right, and then again. So twice on that little pattern. Right. And then you go open A to an E minor chord, which is open, two, two, open. Okay, so one more time. Open A to the E minor. So one more time that pattern. Right, to there. And now you're on an E minor chord and you go E minor to A7. Okay, so E minor to A7, E minor to A7. So you're just going between those two chords now, that E minor into an A7, as I said, which is second fret here, second fret here, fourth fret, third fret. All right, that's an A7 chord, all right? So one more time from the beginning of the verse. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, right? E minor, E minor to A, e minor, e minor to A7. All right, actually the first time through the verse pattern, you go, Okay, on the last part there. So. Do, 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 
and up and down strokes there. Like that, okay? Did you get that? So here we go. Here we go. So you end that part of the pattern on the A7, and then you go back into... Same thing to this point now. And now, so two times from the E minor to the A7, but now, so there you pull in the E major chord, which is basically just like the E minor, except I'm adding my uh, my ring or my pointer finger there to the, to the first fret of the G, okay? So you go in E, A7, back to D. Okay, so the entire verse, one more time goes, Seven, E minor, A7, back to D. E minor, again, E minor to A7, E minor to A7, E major, A7, D. All right, now you're into sort of, I guess what you call the pre-chorus. Right, so what are those chords? Well, you got a G chord there, your standard G. Second fret here of the A string, third fret of the E. Then you're going to go to an e, a, a G minor. So you're just moving this finger down to here. First fret now. Okay, so it's a fun to do a D. Now I'm pulling in this D voicing this time, not this one, just for this part of the song, so I can do a so I can do a little walking pattern. It's kind of cool, all right? So you're going... You see that? That's a really cool little pattern. So G major, G minor to D, and then... So off that G chord, I'm hitting the sixth fret here of your G string, and then back up to the next string, the D string. And I'm moving open one, two. And when I hit that second fret there, okay, so from here. Then I'm gonna pull in an E major chord, like that, okay? So watch that one more time. You see how I did that? I pulled that into an E major chord. And that's first fret, second fret, second fret again. And then here I'm gonna, I'm also gonna play an E major or an E7 chord by just pulling off the second, your second finger here and leaving that D string open. So I'll show you what I mean here. So, rock the night. so he does a, a little pickup with that E7 back to E major. So just pull that second finger off for that open D and you got an E7 chord. Okay, so one more time. And you end on an A chord, either like that or like that. Okay, and then it's just very sharply, very staccato, one, one stroke down, just like that, okay? So, Two, three, four, one. So again, you, you count that in again. So one, two, three, four, one. And back to that little walking pattern again. All right, let's run through the verse, the verses again one more time here. E minor, E minor to A7, E to A7. Second time. E minor to A7. E major, A, D. G, G minor, D. E minor, major, and then E7. A, two, three, four, one. Same thing. 
Okay, the next part is the same thing up until a point, all right? So the first part is the same. Now, instead of going to the E minor the second time through, they go to this chord. All right, what's that chord? Well, that's a B7 chord. Yeah, B7 chord comes kind of out of nowhere, but it's really cool. And it's second fret here of your G, first fret of the D, second fret, and second fret. So just like that. And for you guitar players, it's kind of similar to a B7 voicing on the guitar as well. But it sounds really cool. So let's do this part again. B7. And now you're going E minor to G minor. Okay, so one more time from the... All right, you're throwing in an E minor chord there to a G minor chord again. First fret there, third fret there, right? Okay, so let's do that part again. Okay, and then you're just going E, A, D again to end that part off. All right, so those are the verses to Jingle Bell Rock. All right, and the guitar solo from this song is really cool. I'll show you, well, I'll show you my version of it. It's not exactly the same as the one that G.E. Smith did on the Hall & Oates version of Jingle Bell Rock, but it's something close and something that you can get by with. All right, so it starts off with that same pattern again. Right? To the E minor. Now you're gonna go like this. All right, so what's that? Well, that's really cool, isn't it? After that pattern to the E minor, you're gonna go. All right, that little pattern's really cool. I'll show you it very slowly on the A string. Okay, so you're going. So open two, five, open A again, and then open E, and then seven, five. So like this. The second time through, they, he doesn't go down to the A. He goes, he, he skips over those open strings the second time. So he goes like that. All right, just like that. And then he goes. All right, so the second time, a couple little double stops. Fifth fret and seventh fret there. Okay, and then fourth fret and fifth, four, five, and then two and two down here. So, and it's just one like that. And finally, so from that double stop on the two, Open to five. So one more time. And that last note there, you end on the fifth fret, the D note, and you can give it a little, little vibrato there. And then you're into that part again. Right? Like that. All right, I'll show you the ending again. It goes like this off that. So yeah, you go. So you go like this. Move to that B7 chord again, and then E minor to G. And then you're going to do a few of these E to A7. Okay, so what's that final lick there? Well, it goes... Okay, so that's... After you do... Okay, you're doing that E to A7. Then here... You can either do it with that, that D chord again, or you can just do the, the partial notes, or you can just do one note. Like that. That's the way I did it before. So it's five, four, two, four, five, two, open, four. So, okay, down to that F sharp chord there. And you can also keep that A ringing just to give you that F sharp minor sound again. So, Then you're going to end with this chord, 
which is a D7 chord now. You got the B down here. It's the same voicing, the same configuration. It's just moved up to here now. The fifth fret here of your G, fourth fret of the D, five and five again. So that's your D7 chord to end the song. And that is it for Jingle Bell Rock, the Hollow Notes version, a really fun holiday classic to play on the mandolin and to jam along with if you have other people who want to play along with you, maybe on guitar or piano, and you can even uh, dazzle them with that little bit of a solo from the Hollow Notes version. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks very much for tuning into RPM once again. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all my links down below. Get yourself a t-shirt, RPM merch for Christmas. It's a great gift for the mandolin player this holiday season. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, everyone, from Rock and Pop Mandolin.